Uh, Uber rules. Okay, so Uber does make the rules. Sometimes they don't define the criteria for assessment if there's a problem. Okay, so for example, uh, professionalism, there's no definition of that. Okay, uh, you can Google it, but Uber doesn't define it. So you need to be aware that, um, that you've got to try your best um, under the certain criteria. Okay, honesty, integrity, professionalism, all those sorts of things. KPIs, now, some of these we actually do know about, all right? Acceptance rates, right? You wanna keep them high, okay? 80 to 90% is a pretty good uh, start. Cancellations, you wanna keep them low, below 10%. Any higher than 10%, you risk having your account suspended, okay? So this course is all about making it easier for you and minimizing the risks. And one of those risks is having a high cancellation rate. We've talked about how you get cancellations. Sometimes you need to cancel a ride. Sometimes you can get the rider to cancel the ride if they've made a mistake and they've ordered you by accident or they're not ready. Just keep them as low as possible. So the Uber rules and KPIs, acceptance rates, minimum threshold. Uh, Uber were actually sued for deactivating drivers below. Okay, so if you click on this link, um, however, that was actually in uh, two states in the US, may not actually apply to wherever you are. So now Uber says its drivers might get less rides, but no deactivation. If, if you're gonna play it safe, just uh, keep your acceptance rate high and, um, and do your best.